You know what women are in my life? Jealous. They're always, they're always jealous. They're like this ugly fuck, they're jealous of this, right? Like this is who they're jealous of. Right? Imagine this guy. This is who I'm competing with him. Oh, he's got bitches. I can get men too. You're a woman. No, no, no shit. You can get men. Nobody gives a fuck. A fat bitch can get men. Nobody knows how many DMs are in a fat bitch. Uh, how many guys are in a fat bitch's DMs. Nobody understands the chads like me. When we're bored, we look at a fat bitch and we go. Hmm. Like, we don't do it, but we go. Hmm. <laughs> so imagine the average guy, what he's doing with these fat bitches. <laughs> The fat bitches are the most beautiful women on earth. Don't cancel me. Check this. I'm going somewhere with this. You know how I know fat women are the most beautiful women on earth? They're the only women that men look at and go, if she lost 98 to 172 pounds, she'd be the hottest woman in New York. <laughs> you don't do that for skinny girls. You don't do it for average girls. You don't do it for curvy. For, for a fucking fat ass, you go, holy fuck, that's a perfect looking woman. She got perfect skin and eyes and nails and everything, hair, whatever. You, you look at her and you're like, oh, she's perfect. If she lost 172 pounds, this girl would be fucking drop dead gorgeous. Men don't do that with skinny girls, average girls, beautiful girls. They say, oh my God, you're perfect. And then they get to know them and they go, you're not perfect. You just, you just know how to, how to hide. When you're finding out she's not perfect, you've got to ask yourself, is she funny at least? You know, because women cannot be funny, but if you're laughing with them, then there's some medicine to the relationship. You know what relationships are? Men lose everything in a relationship, divorce, all that, but the women are destroyed. And again, I can't do it. John, I can't do it anymore. A guy can lose like fucking $10 million in a divorce and everyone wants to hear her side of the story. This fucking nobody bitch who got like nothing to her name, right? Some fucking dumb mid bitch who got no money. She gets everything and she goes, I had to go through the divorce. The divorce was too much. What? You know, women look at me and they go, you, you have a lot of problems with women. And I go, wait till you're mad at your best friends. Wait till you're mad at your girlfriends. You're going to be saying the same shit I'm saying about them. And they always do that. They go, yeah, my girlfriends are such bitches. They're such whores. They're such, they're doing this, this, this. But they don't want to admit it because they're like, I don't want Zerka to do the I told you so parade, which I don't even do. I go, bitch, I know. Like, I'm the fuck. I know. You're a fucking idiot. To listen to your best friends until they convince you to ruin things with the guy they're with and then their best friends go and get fucked and farm horrible mental health then they infect the girl with the bad mental health then their friendships break and that's it the woman's left with nothing it's like you should have just stayed with the fucking boyfriend you retard sit in this car i see a bunch of women i get angry at women and that's the content men who lose everything complain way less imagine they looked at the girls in the eye and said you won we lost we men lost you won you won everything you had everything we lost snap out of it who is telling you to be sad you're stealing our sadness you're like witches relationships hello of course dude you, anyone who's single is a fucking loser in life right the only thing worse is dating a loser because that's still single have you seen a girl who dates a loser the last thing they tell you is they have a boyfriend after 10 years of talking to them, they go, oh, by the way, John, by the way, <laughs> why are those girls with those dudes then? They cannot be alone. Women cannot be alone. They're so socially calibrated that in the morning, dinner time, middle of the night, they're always texting someone, friends or whatever. Am I being social enough? Am I being? Whereas a guy can actually watch a Joker movie for two hours, not text anyone and feel the energy of alone. And that's why they're meant to stay with cousins and family and grandma. That's where they're supposed to be socially calibrated. But now that liberalism has stripped that, they have whore one and whore two and whore three to talk to. And a bunch of friend dudes that are trying to smash. Any woman who says, these are my friends, they're not trying to smash me. That's like admitting I'm a whore or I'm the dumbest idiot in your phone, don't talk to me anymore. What the fuck is worse? Finding out you're talking to a fucking retard or finding out that you're talking to the biggest fucking hoe. And they have like a million excuses. If you're the type of guy who listens to a woman's excuses, you deserve whatever's coming your way. You deserve everything that bitch does to you. Like I couldn't ever be in a car where a girl's spitting excuses because they're afraid to. They know I'll be like, shut the fuck up. And that's what the weird thing is, based men now hear their side of the argument. There's nothing to listen to. Hey man, you don't need guy friends. If you're even having the argument, the communication, you're the fucking hoe. You're the guy is the fucking hoe. The fuck are you talking about that? I've never had someone walk into my car. I've never had a girl have the balls to talk to me like that, where they're like, actually, I have a bunch of guy friends and stuff. They all do the same thing. The worst they'll do is, I'm getting rid of them, John. 
Hurry the fuck up, bitch! <laughs> hurry the fuck up!